Uh-huh. You said those people are no longer useful for you in the lab. And if that's mean? what they do, yes. So the question is, he saw one of my talks where I spoke of when you, the research scientist, so do you carve your way to the edge of what is known, and so there's a boundary there between what's known and what's unknown. Now you want to push that boundary by asking questions of the unknown, and that's how discovery unfolds. And in that lecture I commented that there are some people in society who will invoke either a deity or what they call intelligent design as an accounting for things that we don't yet understand on the premise that we will never understand it. And I asserted that those people are not useful in the laboratory. Whatever it is they do in life, the lab is not a place I need them to be. I need the people in the lab to say, there's something I don't understand, I'm going to solve it. That's a different kind of mentality towards the unknown, and those are the people who make discoveries.